J oh man. JF just opened his I didn't know it was loaded, dude. <coughs> he didn't think it was fucking loaded and shot it at the wall. I'm so glad you didn't shoot me. What is going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I got a lot of stuff and things going on today. Running some typical errands, but mainly I have a lot of updates to give you guys to kind of let you know what I have going on, some future videos and other things that are coming up. Damn, that is so bright. Uh, yeah, got a lot of stuff on my plate, a lot of stuff on my mind, and I hope I can remember everything that I wanted to remind you guys. I've been thinking about stuff all week, but first thing I'm doing today is I'm going down to the Subaru dealership. They had called me earlier this week and said, hey, we have a $50 gas card for you. I was like, uh, okay, what did I do to deserve that? And apparently it's just like a customer satisfaction type of thing. I did give them good reviews. I mean, the whole car buying experience, it was great. So I said, sure, I'll come down 9 a.m. Saturday morning. I'm also gonna get my tire pressure sensors programmed to my car because as of right now, my tire pressure sensor light is on. It's been on my STI since I changed those wheels out, so I'm used to it, but I figured if I'm stopping in here, I might as well just get it done because these wheels are definitely gonna be staying on this car for pretty much its entire life. So speaking of the Crosstrek, a lot of you guys have been asking questions and I'm not ignoring you, I'm just not answering you on purpose because I'm going to be answering all your questions in an upcoming video. This week will mark one month since I picked up this car and started doing things to it, so I'm going to do an entire recap video, talk about the mods, what I think about them, the different products that I bought for the car. If you have any more specific questions about it on any of the mods or what I think about certain things about the car, just leave them in the comments down below and I'm going to kind of take a pool of everything that I've gotten in the past month and lump them all into a video and uh yeah there's definitely going to be more cross track videos in the future all right i'm here pulling into the dealer again i always feel so guilty about coming to the dealership so early they open at eight but i know they don't really do like car pickups or anything until nine or a little bit after that but if you call me and ask me what like when i can come down on a saturday it's got to be early in the morning so i feel bad about coming in this early, but it is what it is. Pulling into the service garage now. You just uh, pull up and the door opens right away, so I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, leaving the dealership right now. Here's the deal. The Crosstrack was in the shop just to get the TPMS sensors programmed to the car. They went back there, ran their machine around it, and it wasn't registering. So I came out into the shop and they said, are you sure that the sensors are actually in there on the tires? And since I got them, they were already mounted. I was like, I don't know. The only way to really tell is to break the tire off. So took the left rear off, broke it. They're in there. They're these new Schrade sensors. And he was like, well, they're in there. I don't know if they're dead, but my system won't pick them up. So I thought maybe it could be because the sensors are too new, whatever. Went across the street to a CJ's tire or something like that. The guy was coming out of the garage door, so I just swung up real quick. I was like, hey, do you think you could just stick your machine thing sensor programmer onto the valve stem and see if it'll register anything? He's like, yeah, I guess so. Boop, boop, boop into his machine and it came up. Subaru Cross Trek, but it only goes from 2013 or 16 to 17, so they don't have anything to program for the 18s yet. Subaru, I thought, would have something like that, but it might be that the sensor is just too new to the machine. I don't know if they update them or how it works, but whatever. I'm driving with my sensor light on for now. But anyway, continuing down the list of errands that I have to do today, I'm running to the post office now to one, check the P.O. box, and two, I'm actually sending out some Christmas presents to some of my Patreons. To the 450 AE patrons, I already got your shipping address, so there will be something in your mailbox in the next uh, couple of days. I'm pretty stoked on them. I'm pretty sure you will be too, so I will let you guys know in the Discord in the future. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check the link to my Patreon down below. 
or don't, whatever. You guys can do it if you want to. But I am really appreciative of those who do back me on there. It will soon be allowing me to make content that I otherwise wouldn't be able to make. So it's basically crowdfunding what you guys are going to see here on the channel in the future. It's a really cool way to make content like that because then I get direct feedback from the people who appreciate what I do the most. And I mean, I just talk to you, all you guys on the reg. I mean, if you guys send a message to me, it'll come directly to my phone. So. Um, it's cool to just have direct contact with someone like that, people like that. All right, everything is shipped. I'm running around like crazy. I'm already back at home and just don't really have the time to pull out my camera and film every little thing that I'm doing. Got to refuel with some Strike Force Energy. Technically not a sponsor, but more of a sponsor than Red Bull was, so. I got all of my packages shipped. Uh, there wasn't really much at the P.O. box. I do have stuff that I had picked up in the past. If you sent something to the P.O. box, I probably either opened it already or I haven't opened it yet. But if I did open it, I filmed it and it will be in a mail time video in the future. One of them in particular was pretty good. You got an A plus on the wrapping and the stuff that you sent, so. Uh, okay, now. Next stop on my list of things to do is Schuylkill Gunworks. I'm going up there to, it's my local FFL if you don't know that already, to pick up not one, not two, but three new firearms. The Sunday gun day is kind of slowing down just because of the weather. It's getting really cold out. It's like 30 degrees right now. The days are shorter. My days are busy, so it's hard to do stuff, but that just gives me more time to get new video topics. So the three that I'm picking up today, all three of them are super requested. Probably the top three most requested guns that I see in the comment section. People message me on Instagram, comments on Instagram. Just last week I posted something on one of my Instagram accounts. I said, let me know what you guys wanna see in the future. And I took a lot of your ideas. If it's something that I truly liked, I wrote it down in a note on my phone. That note is like, it's up to probably 20 different video topics now, so some of them will become a reality in the future. I just need to find the right time, the right place. I need to probably get whatever it is that you guys want to see in a video, so stuff is in the works. It just takes some time. When I look at the list of stuff that I could potentially be making videos on, it really makes me wish that I could do YouTube full time because there's just a lot of creative things that I wanna get out, I wanna make videos on and show you guys. I wish that I could do YouTube full time and bring you all of these really cool ideas that I have, and I'm going to, it's just gonna take some time. I'm trying to think if I have any other gun-related updates for you guys. There's definitely a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Two really big things that I'm working on will be coming in the next, uh, let me think, one will be in January, Another will be in the springtime. So there's gonna be a lot of firearm related content coming out of that. This channel isn't all about firearm stuff, you guys know that, but I am stoked to be connected with the people that I am now because it's allowing me to make the content that you guys want easier. A Sunday gun day video for this weekend is probably not going to happen. We are in the middle of rifle season right now here in Pennsylvania. Rifle season starts the Monday after Thanksgiving. I do have a couple things on my chopping block though that I will get to. And I think instead of a normal Sunday gun day tomorrow, I'm actually just going to go live on Instagram and talk about last week's video. There was a lot of debate in the comment section on that video of the firearm that I went over and just I don't want to I don't want to get into it right now. What you should do is follow me on Instagram and tune into that. It'll probably be tomorrow around noon, maybe afternoon towards I, I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be. But follow me and then when you see that I'm going live if you want to swing by, check it out, ask some questions because I'm going to be hitting some sort of controversial stuff. There is a bald eagle flying in front of me right now. What? No way, dude. That is an American bald eagle right there. What? That is so crazy. I don't know if I've ever seen one in the wild like that. Whoa. America is fuck, dude. Here's where I'm at, by the way. Hi, Cabela's. 
Oh man, so th this, this video is just all over the place now. I don't even really know what I was talking about again. Maybe I should lay off the caffeine a little bit. All right, finally done up at Schuylkill Gunworks. I was there a lot longer than I had intended on being there, but I could seriously just hang out there all day. The guys are super friendly. Picked up my three guns. I actually impulse bought something too, which I can show you guys a little bit later. I promise this video isn't gonna be just a vlog from my car. I know I'm driving around a lot, but I'm gonna be doing stuff in a little bit, so it'll get more interesting. Just wait. So what I impulse bought was a scope for my 1022. It's the tactical target version, so if you wanna check that out, click the link right here. When I was filming that video with my friends, I realized this red dot is not cutting it. For how far this gun can shoot, it needs a scope. So I got a Nikon scope. Maybe I'll show like the quick install of that later on. I really appreciate all the guys up at Schuylkill Gunworks for helping me out with getting things done, transfers, background checks, everything goes smoothly every time I'm in there. It's a, it's a relationship that I'm glad to have. And also thanks to Panda Tactical. You guys will hear more about them. I mean, you hear about them all the time, but you're definitely gonna hear more about them in the next couple of weeks. So now, I'm going somewhere to do something that I'm kinda stoked about, but at the same time, I don't like doing what I'm about to do. I'm going to my friend's house. He is a photographer, a very, very skilled photographer. If anyone is ever in this area and they're asking me for recommendations on who to go to, I send them to my friend Brandon. His prices might be high, but quality of photos relate directly to anything else that you're spending money on. If you're spending money to document a day like you're getting married, you're having a baby, you want to have those photos and you want to have them forever and like, uh, this is something that I could rant about for a while because a lot of people are like, yo, come film my wedding. I'm like, hey, I would, but I'm not a videographer. I am I make YouTube videos. If you want something that you're gonna pay for and you're gonna have to remember forever, go to a professional, spend the money. If it's more than you're kind of comfortable with paying, just remember that it's gonna be something that you're gonna have forever. You really shouldn't skimp out on something like that. So anyway, I'm going over to his house now because I need to get headshots done for Revel 8 ski boards. A lot of people are new to my channel, so you might not know that I am a professional ski boarder, if you want to call it professional. I basically ski, ski board for a company called Revel 8. I've been riding their boards forever, and there's, there's a ton of videos on my channel about it, so if you want to go back, just search Revel 8 ski boards in my channel, and you'll find a ton of information ton of videos, a lot of cool adventures in those videos. For the past couple of years, I've been riding on their pro team, and then after college, I was just working a lot, and I kind of fell off the map. I really didn't ski board as much as I would like to, so I was on the site previously, and then I was removed from the site because I just wasn't riding. Last year, I rode a lot. I put out a lot of content for them, and now I'm going to be put back onto the site with the rest of the pro team riders like Dave and Kirk Thompson and everyone. So I need an updated headshot. If I can find the headshot that was on the site before, I will put it right here. I don't have a beard. I look, I just look weird, man. I don't know. So I can't obviously use that same photo again. I'm going to Brandon because he will be able to replicate the other photos that were taken all at the same time. So this is kind of like an afterthought. It should be fun. The thing is, I'm not a model. Wow. Oh shit. I, I don't photograph well, so I'm just gonna stand there with a big dumb look on my face. Okay, you take it yet? This video is probably going to be so long and so talk heavy, but hopefully you're still watching this. <laughs> this is Brandon, by the way. Making the magic happen. He literally just took like five pictures in two minutes and they look good already. So, if he sends me the pictures by the time I post this video, I'll put them like right here somewhere. They look pretty good.
So that literally took like 10 minutes, but what I was explaining on the way here was that people don't invest enough money into pictures. And I know we've talked about this before, but that literally took 10 minutes. We got a bunch of really good shots and you pay for what you get. It's the same with anything. Like people on my channel, you're looking into firearms and car parts and stuff like that. I could go out and spend, what's like a, like an entry level photographer cost? Like if I just want to get, if, yeah, like if I wanted to do what we did here, um, people would like charge like hundred bucks, hundred bucks, hundred fifty, yeah. something like that. Which seems like a deal, but then if you compare, I'm gonna link all of his stuff like in the description. Go to his site. He has a YouTube channel now where he's actually showing how to do the light setups and everything. Even if you're not into photography, it's still pretty interesting. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. But comparing a single headshot that Brandon does to anything else or like wedding photos you're uh you have what the veteran shoot mm -hmm. yeah i'm doing a combat veteran project that one you guys would definitely like because obviously a lot of you are veterans or you're into guns and service and stuff like that so check those out just compare side by side and you'll understand what i'm talking about i don't want to rant on forever but brandon check him out instagram i'll link it all below so thanks man right. i appreciate yep. it thanks no problem what up what are you doing? I, your location? I'm driving on some back roads. You, where are you heading to? Uh, I don't know, but I'm hungry. I need to get food. You're coming into the west today? Or do yeah. you want to go like, towards Reading? No, it's fine. I'll, I'll meet you there. Alright, I'll see you in a second then. Or in a bit. Alright, later. Going to get lunch with JF. You guys haven't seen JF in a while, but he's still alive. He's kicking, I think. What up, pimp? What's up? The people missed you. Hey, high five. Or did you miss the people? I missed the people. Nah, f them. <laughs> just oh, kidding. Comment. I just pulled up. I didn't pull out because I don't pull out. You don't pull out? <laughs> you should. That's definitely something you should consider doing, I especially have children. <laughs> around the holiday season. That's when they try to get you. Taylor's probably killed about a hundred of my kids. <laughs> killed them? Yeah. How? I don't know, she probably throws herself down the steps. Oh. She jams a hand right there. So you're saying know. she has been pregnant, but <laughs> now she's not. So since this video is already going to be really long, I might as well tell this story because this happened, what, two weeks ago? You don't even know the story I'm going to tell. This mother right here. Me? Yeah. What did I do? What did you do? Do you want to tell him? Or should I just play the video? Oh, two weekends ago. <laughs> yeah. When I shot your closet with a pepper spray gun. Yeah. I forgot that happened, actually. Check, check this out. <laughs> J <coughs> J oh, man. JF just opened his, his present from Panda Tactical, which was another pepper spray gun. I didn't know it was floated, dude. <coughs> he didn't think it was fucking loaded and shot it at the wall. I'm so glad you didn't shoot me. Dude, it looks like blood. <laughs> this is what it does. Oh my god. In a confined space. I can't believe I did that. <coughs> I cannot fucking believe. <coughs> we gotta find a way to <coughs> to clean this off the fuck the wall. Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> so as soon as that happened, I grabbed a face mask, I opened the door, I threw a fan in front of the door, I turned on the camera real quick, because I'm a thinker. <laughs> I was like, I know, this is going to be kind of funny, and it's gonna, I was still in shock. It's going to suck. So I only showed you a couple clips there, but <laughs> we had the camera rolling for like 15 minutes, just dying. Did you know that the pepper spray guns come loaded, by the way? Yeah, I did know, because I have like three So I still have a loaded gun. <laughs> there's still, yeah, there's two shots in them and there's one left, so we can use that one on day. We should bar hop. Who can, who can drive us around all day? Can any of you out there DD us? Let me know in the but, comments. But like, this is going to be late, so like maybe oh, the coming up weekend. So that's not how this works? Oh, I, thought, I thought this was live. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I just edited the video all the way up to this point and it's pretty damn long. It's like midnight now. We did a bunch of stuff tonight, but like I said, I don't vlog everything that I do all day, every day. I feel like I kind of lost my touch. I used to vlog everything. I would pick up the camera and turn it on and not turn it off until I fell asleep, but did a lot of stuff today. Editing this whole video, I cut out a ton of stuff that I was talking about. A lot of update stuff. 
and I figured it would just be better to talk about it on Instagram Live tomorrow. So you guys should join that. I do talk about pretty much anything. Ask me questions and I'll talk about car stuff, gun stuff, whatever I have going on. So I try to trim down the video as much as possible, but if you're still watching, almost at 20 minutes now, leave a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Doesn't mean much to you, but it helps me out. If you're new here and you made it all the way to the end, I'm really impressed. So consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos about everything that I talked about today, every week, and there's definitely a lot more to come. I'm really stoked about the next couple of weeks, couple of months, everything that's coming. I've got some new stuff hiding in this guy right here that I'm ready to show you guys. I just need the right time and place to film. I wanna do it good, I don't wanna half-ass anything, so. A lot of cool stuff coming on the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and that's gonna be it for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.